thank you for participating in our member benefits presentation. This is not only for new chamber members who want to know more about all the perks and benefits that come with their chamber membership, but for businesses who are thinking about joining the chamber to learn more about what is offered with their membership. We are governed by a board of directors as a nonprofit entity. And as you could see from the great uh, display of board, uh, our directors here. We have stakeholders right here in Fountain Hills, business owners and the, the Unified School District superintendent is one of our board of directors and we have a great display of truly Fountain Hills stakeholders as our board of directors. I do have a video I'd like to share and if you've already seen it, bear with me, it's only a couple minutes, but we're really proud of it and so thank you for watching. As a new business, we join the Chamber because we feel that it's essentially the backbone of the community. As a franchise owner, the Chamber has really propelled my growth in my business. I was able to meet many local business owners, network with them, learn all about their businesses and what propelled them to growth. The easiest way to get the most out of a town like Fountain Hills and its surrounding area is to be involved with the number one business civic organization that there is, and that is the Chamber of Commerce. When you invest in your business by joining the Fountain Hills Chamber of Commerce, you're also investing in our town. We just recently celebrated an anniversary, and we're thrilled to share with you our past, our present, and our future. 45 years ago, my father started the Fountain Hills Times, right about the same time the Chamber started. Over the years, the Chamber has offered us many marketing opportunities to help our business grow. We were a Chamber member from day one, but after 15 years in business, we decided to revamp and rebrand, and Chamber was instrumental for helping us re do a green reopening, the ribbon cutting. They helped us reach out to new customers and also educate people about what we're doing new and different. I've only had the business two years and the growth has been phenomenal and I owe a lot of that to the Chamber and to the Elite Leads group that I'm a member of. In addition to our Elite Leads and other networking opportunities, we also offer marketing for our members. This includes email marketing, social media marketing, advertising on our website, and being a part of our podcast, which we call Fountaincast. And using the free marketing tool that uh, Chamber offers, it's wonderful because you can advertise weekly on what you need to do. You have opportunities to be a sponsor of uh, several events. The Fountain Hills Chamber of Commerce hosts events like the Chill in the Hills, the Stroll in the Glow, the Thanksgiving Day Parade. We also have two large art fairs, one in February and one in November. It's been a place that I've been able to network with other business owners. It's been a place I've been able to introduce the resort to more customers. So it's increased our visibility within the Fountain Hills community. I think it's very important to meet other business members in the community and frankly it's helped propel my business growth. For Pure Business, the only organization that's fully devoted to business is the Fountain Hills Chamber of Commerce. I would definitely recommend becoming a Chamber member just for one reason, networking alone. They offer so many business opportunities. We've been extremely satisfied. If you're a local business and you're looking to expand, uh, we would definitely recommend joining the Chamber. Innovative. A friend to the community. Advocacy. Great for marketing. Tech savvy. Heart and soul of the business community. If you're thinking about bringing your business to the next level, make sure to come and join the Fountain Hills Chamber of Commerce. Come join the Chamber. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching that. We love our little PR video. So our number one goal is the success of your business. And we do this through networking, referrals, advertising, events, public policy, member ad education, and advocacy. So I wanna talk about firstly, the 10 different marketing opportunities for you have, that you have for your business. First of all, we do three email blasts per week. So not only does that go to all of our chamber members, but our subscriber list is close to 6,000 people, people in our local community who have said that they would like to receive the Chamber of Commerce newsletter. The first newsletter that goes out goes out on Mondays, and it is our chamber newsletter. 
And so it's all of the chamber happenings and all the chamber events that are upcoming for that week and in the coming weeks. And it also includes a Monday member spotlight. The Monday member spotlight is if you as a company, if you've received award, an award or you have um, something special to share or just something great that you wanna share with the community, you can let us know and we will include it as our, our Monday member spotlight. We also have our Tuesday e-blast, that is our events e-blast. So if you have as a company, if you have events coming up and you'd like another marketing opportunity to share those events, then you can let us know and we'll include it in the the events e-blast. And then on Wednesdays, we have an e-blast called Deals, Chamber Deals. So if you're running a special or a promotion, this is the perfect place to advertise that. As Paige mentioned on our PR video, we do a podcast every other Friday. If you would like your company to be featured on the podcast, you can send your content idea directly to Paige and uh, she'll consider it for one of her future podcasts. Just make sure that it is content driven and not one big long advertisement. We also have a social media presence on Facebook and Instagram. So if your company has a Facebook page or an Instagram page and you'd like to share content that you have shared with your following, then you can just tag our marketing manager and she will repost it on our chamber social media. And so it'll really extend your reach on social media. We also have our directory, our business directory on our website. And I don't know if you know this, but our, our website does receive over 13,000 hits per month. So this is a powerful tool for people looking for different industries within the chamber. We also have our YouTube channel and all of our new chamber members who have a ribbon cutting, we do videotape those ribbon cuttings and it's another way to market your business is through our YouTube channel and once it's posted, you can share it and use it as a marketing tool for your business. We do a quarterly print newsletter that's called Chamber Chatter and it goes out to every single home of every single chamber member once a quarter. Plus we utilize that tool throughout the quarter at every presentation and almost every event that we we hold. We also advertise in the Fountain Hills Times on a weekly basis, and so we support local with our local paper by uh, advertising weekly, but we also advertise our chamber members according to their anniversary month once a month. There are two additional uh, marketing opportunities. One is an online banner ad that is on our website and it has an asterisk next to it because it is included in some of the memberships or you can pay for it all a cart for other memberships. We also have event sponsorships. Some companies love to sponsor events because of the reach that they will reach when they have their collateral and their logo and their branding on all of our pre-event marketing and at the event itself. That also has an asterisk because it is a la carte or you can have it in one of our memberships. And then on the very bottom, it has ability to stock the visitor center with your member materials. I think this is a huge one that a lot of people overlook. We have a beautiful visitor center, the only visitor center in all of Fountain Hills, and we are redoing our chamber building and it's going to be just absolutely gorgeous. And as a chamber member, you can have your business collateral and your brochures in our visitor center. We also have uh, not new welcome packets that we can put together or realtors can put together from the visitor center information at our, our visitor center, as well as trails, maps, all kinds of things for people who are visiting Fountain Hills. We have some additional marketing opportunities that are included in your chamber membership. We participate in the Fountain Hills Community Guide. We actually pay for a four page insert in the Fountain Hills Community Guide that is just our chamber members according to their industry. And this is a great tool that is utilized all year long from real estate professionals. It's in our visitor center. We have them at our two huge fairs that we have and those are wiped out every single time. So it's great exposure for you as a chamber member. And then we also subscribe to what's called FountainHillsLive.com. It's a marketing hub or marketing co-op that we paid for, so you as a chamber member don't need to. When you add one of your business events to our chamber calendar, it'll auto-populate to FountainHillsLive.com, furthering your reach uh, for your local events. 
We talked about event sponsorship. We have so many events. We actually figured out that Chamber of Commerce hosts over 140 events per year. But I'm gonna feature the larger events that are available for event sponsorship opportunities. One of my favorite ones is the State of the Town Address. What that looks like as a sponsor for this event is your logo and branding on the large screen throughout the event. Also featured in our program, for this event. So your, uh, again, your branding and your logo is everywhere when you sponsor an event. The Fountain Festival of Fine Arts and Crafts is both in February and November. You'll see the sponsorships range from $2,800 to $15,000 to have a booth at that Fountain Festival of Fine Arts and Crafts. We understand and realize that that is very expensive and I'll share with you that is it is expensive on purpose because it is not a business expo. It is a fine arts and crafts festival. And so for the businesses who decide to participate in the over 200,000 attendees over the course of three days, and they have found it very worthwhile to participate, but we wanna make sure it doesn't get watered down. And that is very limited for the amount of people um, as businesses that can have a booth at that event. We also have our Chamber Gala, which is typically in April. This year it has been rescheduled to August 21st. And the gala is great because your sponsorship is not only your table of eight people with the ceremony and the dinner, but it's also, again, your logo and branding in the program and on your table. Our Fountain Hills Expo is getting revamped for its return in 2021. It's coming back May 15th, 2021, which is on a Saturday. And we hope to really expand this great, it was already a great program for our local businesses. This is where the community comes out to meet their chamber businesses. And it's a really nice sampling of about 70 chamber businesses who participate and they have a booth and we hope to have some entertainment and food drunk food trucks and really make it a family friendly event <clears throat> on a saturday in may next we have our fountain hills Oktoberfest, which is coming up september 24th and september 25th of this year this is the 13th year for Oktoberfest for Fountain Hills. It is the only authentic Oktoberfest in all of Arizona with the German band being flown in from Germany. All of the food and beer are authentic German uh, food and beer. And we are thrilled to be hosting it for the first time this year, this September 24th and 25th. That is a truly not only a local favorite, but people travel in because it is the only authentic Oktoberfest. We also host the Thanksgiving Day Parade, and you can participate in that in many different ways. There are opportunities to sponsor uh, as a program person, um, a program deliverer. You can walk around the parade and hand out our programs and you can have your logo in our program just for volunteering your time. And so we really try to make our sponsorships available for any price range and any budget, including that one that's complimentary, just your hard work and helping us with the event um, on up to $300 to $2,500. The ranges that you see for the sponsorship prices that is because there are many different levels of sponsorship. Each event has one title or main sponsor. <clears throat> so Thanksgiving Day Parade brought to you by XYZ Cleaning Company. So one main or title sponsor, and then there's um, smaller levels of sponsorship that still include your collateral and your branding and your logo on programs, on signage, on pre-event marketing, and if appropriate to the event in announcements during that day. The Stroll in the Glow is an event that is the first Saturday of December where we collaborate and partner with local businesses in town as well as the town of Fountain Hills to light up the Avenue of the Fountains for the holidays. The mayor of the town and the town of Fountain Hills is responsible for the lighting and we do a skating rink, uh, photos with Santa and a lot more and a live nativity scene, the community band, uh, remaps. Sun Properties does carriage rides, and it's a great collaboration effort. And you can participate in that for as little as $200 and have your logo on the ice skating rink, which is, again, one of my favorites because the parents stand there and watch their children the entire time with your logo um, in, in the uh, background, which is great. And then finally, we have our FH Connect Networking Breakfast, which hosts about, or 
boasts about 80 to 100 pe 120 people. Our last one that we had was in December, and I think we had close to 120 people at that event. And the, the FH Connect Networking Breakfast is only $150, and it includes an insert into our program, your logo in our program, as well as time to speak at the microphone at the program. It is a very popular one. We only sell four per breakfast, and those usually sell out every single quarter. We have a ton of different other events and happenings that you can participate in as a chamber member. There are three elite leads groups. The purpose of each elite leads group is to really get to know each other's businesses because people use and refer people and businesses they know and trust. And how you can really get to know and trust another business is through one way is through the elite leads uh, groups. And so we have three different groups and they range from about 15 people to almost 30 people. And that range is uh, some have been more established and been around longer. And so that's why they are bigger groups. They are industry specific. So you will not have competition within your elite leads group and you really get to know uh, the other people in your elite leads group. We also have a five o'clock evening mixer. This is held the second Tuesday of each month and it's truly a social. It's a happy hour type event where you can come and meet and mingle with other chamber members. And again, another way to get to know so that you can use and refer your local businesses. We also have our Fountain Hills Young Community. Fountain Hills Young Community is on hiatus right now, but it is a group that is our effort for tourism here in town to share with the world that Fountain Hills does have young people who live and work here. And so we have accomplished accomplish this through events. We had a really successful golf tournament last October, hope to bring that back in October of 2021. And we had a karaoke contest, uh, which is also our effort to support local here in Fountain Hills. We were able to fill a local restaurant on a Monday in June for the karaoke contest. When he, the owner shared with me that he is lucky to have two, four, maybe six tables on a Monday in June. We filled his restaurant standing room only for four to five hours. And so it really made a great impact. Plus it was fun. We have a cash mob that was supposed to be new this year that was supposed to launch in April. We're hoping that we can still keep this alive for this summer, um, depending on the pandemic and the opening of the economy right now. But it, this was a, an extension of our very successful lunch mob program. So it is seasonal. It's from April through September. And we mob, that's where the mob comes from. We mob one of the local restaurants to support them in the slower summer months. And then we also feature three to four businesses in a 90 minute time frame while we're there. So we go to the restaurant, we start out before we go to the restaurant, we start out at a service business. We allow that service business 10 to 15 minutes to present and get to know everyone who has uh, who are who is participating at that event and then once we go to the restaurant we are going to have another one or two businesses present at that event so it's once a month for 90 minutes but it's truly a way to support local during our slower summer months our ribbon cuttings are hugely successful here's a great picture in front of our building before the remodel started but we have a, a great group of of volunteers called our chamber ambassadors. Those are the ones who are in red in the picture. And we just celebrate the new chamber members with a ribbon cutting ceremony. This comes with almost every membership level, bronze and above, and we'll get to that at the end. Um, but we have a great partnership with the Times of Fountain Hills. They do come out and take photos and do a featured business story in our local paper. Uh, the town of Fountain Hills, either the mayor or a council member will come out and introduce the business and it's truly a great launch as a new chamber member and that's one of the offerings that we have we also have chamber university which is our education that we offer complimentary not only to chamber members but also to our local residents and this is uh, it's not always the last Tuesday of the month um, it actually ranges on different dates according to the business who is presenting, but we would really like to have 
um, more chamber universities coming up soon. We've been booked solid, but because of everything closing down, we had to cancel that out. So if you as a chamber member would like to host a chamber university, it is education only, no sales or no promoting of your business. Um, but it's a great way to educate your local neighbors and chamber businesses and share a little bit about your business. We do have some special marketing opportunities. That Chamber Chatter is new. It's that new quarterly print newsletter. And we do have advertisements. We only have four advertisements available and it did sell out in March. That was our first offering for that. So that's an opportunity to market for your business as well. And then because we're doing our newly remodeled building, we do have naming rights available for our boardrooms. We have three boardrooms now once we are finished and the naming rights includes a beautiful sign with your company logo with your company collateral right underneath it every single one of our boardrooms as soon as you come into the lobby you can see your eye can see all three of the boardrooms immediately so it's great exposure and the staff will always refer to that boardroom with the sponsored naming rights company so for example if SRP was one of our sponsors for say the large boardroom upstairs and somebody called to schedule that boardroom, um, we, it would, we would say the SRP boardroom. And so that naming goes along with it for the entire time frame. One thing I didn't mention is the fact that as a chamber member, you have the opportunity to utilize all three of those boardrooms complimentary built in to, to your membership. And so if you are doing um, a small meeting, one or two or up to five or six people, we have our smallest boardroom. If you're doing a larger meeting or classroom style meeting, we have our large boardroom upstairs that will comfortably sit around 20 people around a table or with additional chairs, we can get approximately 35 or 40 people in that room. We also advocate on behalf of our chamber members. We do this in two different ways. Um, first, on a, a grand scope, we are a part of the East Valley Chamber of Commerce Alliance, and it's nine East Valley chambers who partner together to represent public policy at the state capitol. And so the, a lot of people don't realize that we are truly advocating on your behalf on the local, state, and national level. We're also members of the Arizona Chamber Executives, which helps us as leaders to stay um, informed and educated to be the best leaders we can be for your chamber membership. Locally, we can be your advocate right here in Town of Fountain Hills. We have a great working relationship with the Town of Fountain Hills, and a lot of times you just need direction or honestly just you just need to know who is the right person to contact and we can help you uh, lead you in that process for signage or whatever it might be for your business with the town of Fountain Hills. We also have a public policy committee that will resume in September and so we really want to make sure that we're at the forefront of public policy so that we can keep our members up to date on all they need to know for their businesses. We're very excited to offer a new offering for our chamber members, and that is a lifestyle health plan group health insurance. So for you as a chamber member, if you need to or would like to offer health insurance to your staff or your employees but have never had the opportunity to do so because you're not large enough, now you have that opportunity. So this is a brand new program and quite honestly, we're still in the beginning phases of learning about it, but it's not a if we're gonna offer it, it is when we're gonna offer it. So it'll at the very latest roll out July 1, we're hoping to actually launch it in June and we're excited that as a chamber member you can participate in a group health insurance plan. We have many different levels of membership as a business. We have five different levels. I'm going to start at the top. Our first level is our premier partner. Our premier partner, if you were to purchase everything that's available to you, is a $4,300 value for the year, discounted to $2,575. It includes your logo and branding on our Chamber website. And remember, I said we get 13,000 hits per month, so that's another great way to get your logo out there. Your logo is on every single staff email, and I have a picture of that so you could see what that looks like. And it does include two event sponsorships, one level two sponsorship and one level 
level three sponsorship. And as you saw from the sponsorship page, the sponsorships range from $350 on up to over $1,000 for a level two and a level three. So if you got two um, $750 mm -hmm. sponsorships, for example, included in this premier partner, you could see how much of that annual cost is already taken just with event sponsorship. So it's really a great deal. It includes two of our quarterly breakfast seats for the entire year. It includes two of the elite lead seats, assuming your industry is available for the entire year. It includes eight months of banner advertisement. This is sold for $100 a month. So this right here is an $800 value. When you renew your membership on your anniversary year, we give you an additional month for free. And so that'll just keep going until you're at 12 months and you will always be on our website as a, a banner advertisement. It includes your ribbon cutting and includes an enhanced business directory listing. The First four levels of membership I'm gonna share with you do include an enhanced business directory listing. So what that means is you get 1,600 characters to share about you and your company and a map and everything that you wanna share about your business. You also get to include photos and videos in your business directory listing. It also includes includes other advertising options that are available for Premier Partners, the meeting space we discussed, and you'll be invited to all Chamber events. The next one down is our Platinum Partner, and that's less than half as much, and I'll just share with you the differences. So it does not include the logo on our website. It does not include the logo on staff emails. It is one event sponsorship instead of two, one of the quarterly breakfast seats for the year instead of two, one elite lead seat for the year instead of two, and five months of banner advertisement instead of eight. And that's 1075 for the year. The gold membership is again half as much. It includes um, everything that you see there. So the main difference from platinum is it does not include the event sponsorship. That's the main difference. And it is a three months of banner advertisement instead of five months of banner advertisement. The next one down is our bronze partner. And our bronze partner, it still includes your elite lead seat and your ribbon cutting and your enhanced directory listing. But if I go back to gold, you'll see the main difference is it does not include the three months of banner advertisement. So as you know, we sell that for $300 or $100 a month, and it's only $125 difference. So if online banner advertising is important to you, then you might wanna upgrade to the gold. Um, but the bronze is still a great, great place to be, and you're still included in all of our chamber events. The next one down is copper, and the copper is really our basic chamber membership. It does not include your ribbon cutting, it does not include the lead, lead seat, and your directory listing is a basic listing of only 200 characters instead of 1,600 characters, and it does not include photos and videos. But I'll share with you, you're still invited to all of our chamber events, you still have a directory listing on our website, and you're still involved in the chamber, and we appreciate that as well. The nonprofit level and the government level are the last two opportunities. The nonprofit is truly comparable to the copper membership at a discounted rate for nonprofits at only $155 for the year. And the government level, similar to the copper membership, um, and it's an annual cost of $285. Our team right now consists of myself, Karen Goodwin, who's been with the Chamber for 14 years, and Paige Lawrenson, who has been with the Chamber for approximately four years. And so we are here to support you. We do have some other great contract workers that help us at the Chamber that we couldn't live without. Uh, one is Tammy Bell. We don't have you featured on here, Tammy, but we appreciate you too. The next one is our, our logo that you can see as a premier partner. This is what every single staff member's email signature looks like. So this is twofold. I wanted you to have my contact information if you wanted to reach out directly to me, but I also wanted you to see what the signature looks like when you're a premier partner for all of our uh, logos and brands on all of our staff emails. And we should probably figure out how many staff emails that we send out every single day because that exposure is, is pretty huge. I'd like to welcome Jeannie Harris for joining us on this call and this webinar. 
webinar. Thank you, Jeannie. I appreciate you being on. And I would love to take any questions that you might have at this point, especially for you, Jeannie, that new Lifestyles Health Program. If you were interested in being a provider for that, we would love that. How that's going to work is we are supposed to uh, finalize who of our chamber membership provides insurance, who can participate in this program, and then Lifestyles Health Insurance will do a webinar with you explaining the entire program and how you can offer it when we refer people to you. And then when we roll out this program, um, we are going to ask the people who call in about the program, we're going to ask them if they already have an insurance provider. We want to make sure we're not stealing any local business from any local insurance providers. So that's our first question. And if they don't have one and they're interested in the group health plan, then we are going to refer the chamber members who are working with us on this program to, we're going to refer all those chamber members to that person. And I'll share with you, Jeannie, right now, Karen and I have reached out to all of our chamber insurance providers, and we've heard back from a few, um, and some are not able to offer third-party plans. They're only able to offer what their company is. And so right now, we don't have anyone to refer. So I don't know if you'd be able to uh, participate with this, Jeannie, but I think it's going to be a huge offering once it rolls yeah, out. Yeah, I would want to. I would want to talk to them about that. Okay. Can you hear? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I would want to talk to them about what it is. You know, obviously, it's group health insurance. Um, I normally don't do group health insurance, but it could be something. I have to see what they're all about. Okay. Okay. They're kind of a different party that's involved in it, but I certainly would want to talk to them. Okay, great. So our next step is to set up a webinar with, it'll be like this, a Zoom meeting. Okay. Um, with lifestyles and we're going so um i'll just be transparent sherry Patton from american family is going to participate just in a supportive way she cannot uh -huh. offer it because she has to go through american family and um, scott schlossberg again he just wants his staff to support he thinks it's such a great offering for our chamber members he wants uh -huh. to be able to offer staff support but they cannot be an insurance provider all either but they well they're not they're not licensed for life and health I mean, they do PNC property insurance, most of them. So that's the difference. That's the big difference, right? Yeah. And so, um, but they are willing to support staff wise and to support the program, which I think is fantastic. Sure, so, absolutely. And so they will be on the webinar as well. I'll invite you on the webinar. We have a little bit more digging to do just to make sure we really want to be able to offer two or three referrals because that's kind of the, you know, the status quo. You always want to give two or three referrals. But right. Um, honestly, right now, if you to participate and if you become a chamber member, then you, it'll be you. We're going to refer them all to you. Sure. But we'll start with that webinar and see if it's something you're interested in. Okay, very good. And go from there. Is there a better day than another? Because I'd like to schedule that next week or the week after. Um, hold on a minute. And we could take that offline if you want to look and let me know. Yeah, I'm looking now. Um, I would say Wednesday could be a good day. Wednesday the 20th? Um, oh, I'm in this week. Hold on a second. No, take that back. Um, I uh, Thursday would work. Thursday the twenty first. Yeah, I'm right now. I'm open. Yes. Okay, I'll see what I could do. I'll try to get on that on the calendar for the Thursday the twenty first, and I'll send okay. you some information about that. Okay. And um, do you have any other questions, Jeannie, about our chamber now? Does it feel different from before, or do you have any questions? Oh, about my God. I mean, the only thing I can tell you, Betsy, is, is I think you're doing one amazing job. I mean, it's, I'm just so impressed with how you connect with the members and all the work that you're doing, you know, to promote the chamber uh, and to let the, you know, the members know, you know, what there is, you know, is offered through the chamber. I mean, this whole thing right now with what's going on and the SBA and the PPE, you know, the PPA and all of that stuff, PPP, I mean, it's so informative. Okay, great. So. As well, a staff member, we agree. 
Well, yeah. and I'm just going to say thank you, Karen, and thank you, Jeannie, but I was just going to say it's a team effort. Um, our staff works really well together, and we are well, you really- You've got a good staff, so that's we important. Do. So it is important, but we thank We're you for that. I'm glad, I'm glad you've noticed our hard work. That's Absolutely. great. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks, Jeannie. That's good. Okay, well, thank you for being on. I appreciate your time. I will try to get sure. that set up for May 21st, and yep. uh, that gives us a deadline to, to have the other insurance providers log in on that day as well, and we'll see, we'll see where we're at after that Thursday. You know, the one thing I'll ask you, you, you are referring to insurance providers, okay? When you think about insurance providers, those are really the carriers. You want to more refer to the insurance brokers or okay. agents. And there okay, aren't that many in Fountain Hills, is that true? There's nobody that I know that offers or takes anybody under 60. See, I do Medicare, but I also do under 65 Obamacare. And you're the only one in Fountain Hills. I am right? the only one. Yes. So I think you might be it. You might be our new chamber go-to. <laughs> <laughs> Well, great. Well, thank you for that. And like okay. I said, I'll, I'll keep you posted. Um, give me probably until Friday end of day to give you okay. the information. That's about just that. fine. Okay. okay thank Betsy. you all very much. Have a great day. You too. Thanks, Jamie. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Bye. -bye. Okay, bye. bye, -bye.